Good day, everyone. It's Alan Schimmel, and you're listening to another DevOps.com webcast. Uh, today's webcast is brought sponsored by Red Hat and features Six Fusion. Uh, title of the subject matter of today's webcast is Managing and Optimizing Your Container Cost on OpenShift. Uh, a topic that I think is really interesting, especially given the rapid adoption of, of containerized infrastructure, which kind of goes hand in hand with the whole DevOps and agile way of doing things. Before we get started, though, I wanted to just take a moment and make sure everyone's familiar with our GoToWebinar control panel. We set aside time for questions at the end of today's presentation, and we really, really would like to hear from you uh, with any questions, comments, uh, or areas that you'd like our panelists to delve into. In the GoToWebinar control panel, you'll notice a section of the panel marked questions. If you click the little carrot or arrow so that it's down facing and expands, you can see that you could write your question in there. I'm going to ask that you don't wait till the end of the presentation to start typing your questions in. Because then we just get a flood of them at the end and frankly, getting them queued up and answered is, is a chore. If you could write your question in, in real time as it pops into your brain, the nice thing about this feature is your question is then automatically put into the queue. We'll keep a record of it so that if for some reason we can answer it online today, we can get you a written answer either offline or, or posted to the site. And it, it just makes for a better experience for everyone. Even yourself, this, you don't have to be worried about remembering your question for something that came up early on in the presentation rather than at the end. So please, put your questions in in real time. We will get to them. They're saved in there, and we'll, it'll make for a great webinar for everyone. If you're having technical issues, though, Perhaps the voice or audio is choppy, or the slides are not progressing. You're stuck on the same slide or whatever. We do have engineers standing by to help you. And if you just put it into the chat section, what, what problem you're having, we'll have someone who monitors it reach out to you and do their best to try to make sure that they rectify your situation and you can fully enjoy today's webinar. So questions go in the question section, chat, is for technical issues. And with that, let us get started. As I said, today's webinar, sponsored by Red Hat and featuring Six Fusion, is manage managing and optimizing your container cost on OpenShift. Let me introduce you to our panel members. So first of all, and, and if we could move to the next slide, folks. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce you to Matt Durbin, who's Director of Sales and Business Development, right, at, at um, Six Fusion, and Delano Seymour, co-founder and CTO at Six Fusion. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank welcome. you. And then finally, he doesn't have his pretty picture here on the screen, but certainly last and not le but not least is David Lugo. David is Marketing Manager of Global Alliances for Red Hat Connect. David, welcome. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate you having me. Not a problem. Dave, David, if it's okay, let's start off with you, and I'm going to ask you to then make the, hand, make the handoff for Matt and Delano. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey there, everybody. My name is David Lugo, and I'm a, a Marketing Manager here at Red Hat Connect for Technology Partners. To give you a little context around what we do, Red Hat Connect is an exciting new program made for software and hardware vendors, systems integrators, and cloud hosting companies to align, build, test, and certify your products on the Red Hat portfolio. Today, we're joined by the Six Fusion team, a Red Hat partner headquartered in Raleigh, North Carolina, that's just recently completed Red Hat certification of their product. We have their CTO, like Alan said, on the line with us, Delano Seymour, as well as Matt Durbin, the Director of Sales and Business Development for Six Fusion. And again, good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for coming on. Good morning, David. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And for the rest of you listening, joining the Red Hat Connect for Technology Partner program enables you to learn about Red Hat technology and receive help validating your products and solutions on Red Hat. 
Once validated, the program facilitates market awareness for your products by publishing in our Red Hat catalog, as well as working with you, and that would be me personally, to develop promotional content around your certified product and help gain awareness. Six Fusion and Red Hat have been working together for over two years now in an effort to solve business problems related to the financial management of containers. Six Fusion, in conjunction with Red Hat engineering teams, developed their OpenShift collector to help measure the computing resources consumed by an OpenShift container platform environment so that companies can truly understand the costs of running OpenShift and apply those costs accurately to customers, both internally and externally. So by implementing the Six Fusion OpenShift collector in conjunction with your OpenShift container platform environment, your company will have the ability to realize cost transparency in real time, starting on day one. So without further ado, I'll hand it off to the team of experts, Matt and Delano, who can more effectively explain their partnership with Red Hat and the value Six Fusion brings to OpenShift. Gentlemen. Great, thanks Dave. We're excited to be here today working with Red Hat OpenShift team as well as Red Hat partners and customers. During our webinar today, we're gonna to provide the answers to four questions. One, who is Six Fusion? Two, how does Six Fusion work with OpenShift? Three, what value does Six Fusion bring to OpenShift users? And four, how do I get started? And after our chat today, I hope you'll recognize the valuable insights you'll gain, as well as how easy it is to use and install the Six Fusion OpenShift collector in your OpenShift environment. Make sure you stay until the end, where we'll share how you can get a $500 Amazon gift card by using the Six Fusion OpenShift collector in your OpenShift environment. Six Fusion is a company founded on the premise that IT should be treated like a utility. We believe that the connected utility is the foundation of the next generation of IT supply chain. Since the inception of the company, the team at Six Fusion has developed a meter and an analytics platform that allows organizations to extract valuable insights from their IT usage data and make key decisions based on that information. Six Fusion has also developed a unit of, me unit of measure for IT consumption called the Kilowack. Think of the kilowatt for IT. Through this effort, Six Fusion is reinventing how the market for IT resources are bought, sold, and delivered. Software development has, tra has been transform transformed by the advent of container technology. Unlike the concepts of predecessor technology like virtual machines, container technology allows developers to achieve a level of code portability and deployment simplicity never seen before. By 2020, more than 50% of global enterprises will be running containerized applications in production, up from less than 20% today. Multi-cloud usage is the leading potential benefit to containerized application technologies, which would lessen public cloud lock-in by providing a software layer that can be deployed in multiple host infrastructures. The market though lacks any salient options to track, monitor, and compare the costs of these workload execution venues. In fact, there is, there is fresh new data about the biggest challenges facing hybrid IT deployments in the cloud native arena. Among those companies seeking to leverage multi-cloud deployment strategies, 76% claim cost reduction as the primary motivator. In an ironic twist, however, among the same buying audience, 53% cite managing cost data and decisions as the number one inhibitor to success. To break it all down, two significant problems persist to hold the industry back from realizing maximum potential. First, the IT supply chain has yet to truly facilitate the velocity of workload creation and placement. At present, software engineering and DevOps teams do not have a streamlined way to define, provision, and consume IT resources across heterogeneous host environments, coupled with a harmonized billing and payment experience. This creates significant friction for enterprise IT financial administrations while further obscuring the financial transparency needed to make smart, measurable financial decisions about IT. The great paradox of the modern cloud-native application era 
is that nobody really knows their true cost of application services because there is no standardized way to measure their financial efficiency. Now, Six Fusion has developed a platform to help enterprise customers achieve cost transparency and improve financial efficiency. The Six Fusion platform, working in conjunction with OpenShift, is comprised of a meter, an OpenShift collector, and analytics. Customers who use this, the Six Fusion platform, um, they, they use it to do three things, measure, analyze, and transact. Measure. Very simply, the Six Fusion meter plugs into data sources and aggregates critical information fast and reliably. Here you can see a screenshot of how you can, how you can configure the meter to work with different data sources. Once you've collected your consumption data, Six Fusion helps you analyze the data. Six Fusion's analytics is presented in a clean user interface that will help you understand the total usage and usage patterns of the containers in your environment. Once you analyze the data, the Six Fusion platform gives you the ability to transact. This means billing customers, whether it's internal or external, for their use of the OpenShift of, of your OpenShift environment. It will also provide insights into the best execution venue for your current or upcoming OpenShift container platform deployments. Now let's tie all of this together. In case you missed it earlier, we believe containers as well as the Red Hat's OpenShift container platform are great. And we know that enterprise, enterprises are moving to container environments like the OpenShift container platform. And as they, as they migrate to um, container environments, they will realize key benefits like speed of deployment, ease of use, and high density. But containers are highly dynamic and wildly volatile. Tracking and reporting the true cost of delivering application services is nearly impossible. And we're left with questions that we'd really like to answer if we had the right tools. Here are just a handful of questions that arise with the use of containers. For instance, what container image is used the most? What project consumes the most resources? Which user is costing me the most? And it doesn't stop there. Customers would like to understand the consumption and cost of containers, but what about, the what about how the costs change over time and compare to other computing environments? Here are some other questions like, how cost efficient is my OpenShift environment? How is it improved year over year? And how does the cost of my OpenShift environment compare to other computing environments? This is where Six Fusion can help. Six Fusion can help your organization better understand the costs of individual projects, user groups, or containers when running the OpenShift container platform environment. Like what was included in the previous slides, Six Fusion can help your organization answer the questions about the usage and cost of your OpenShift container platform environment. But to make it very simple, I'm going to share with you three key things that Six Fusion does with your, with your OpenShift environment. By installing Six Fusion's OpenShift collector, and we're going to show you later how easy it is to install, we measure the computing resources of your OpenShift containers in real time. We track the cost of containers using a single unit of measure called the Kilowack. And we enable analysis of both consumption and cost data. Now that you know what Six Fusion does with OpenShift, measuring containers, tracking costs using the Kilowack, and enabling analysis, I'm going to share Six Fusion's value to the OpenShift container platform and why it makes sense to start using Six Fusion with your OpenShift environment right away. So, first off, you're going to be able to charge your customers, internal or external, for their use of the OpenShift environment. You're going to be able to compare the cost of your OpenShift computing environment to other execution venues. And you're, you're going to be able to identify uh, inefficiencies to help drive down internal costs.
Now, before I hand it over to, to Dell, here's what I want you to leave with. One, six fusions kilowatt, which is our unit of measure, solves the problem of unified billing and transparency. Six Fusion's OpenShift collector is easy to deploy. And Six Fusion's analytics platform makes it simple for any user, from an IT admin to a CFO, to consume and understand the data. And you can't do any of these three, three things with any other solution you might consider. Now with that, I'm going to hand it over to Dell, Six Fusion CTO. Hello, everyone. Before we go into a demo, I wanted to first uh, look at the architecture, the platform, Six Fusion's platform architecture, so that we can look at it. Sorry, I'm going to go back to. Oh, we just had a momentary lapse there on the presentation, if we can. Yep, sorry. Here we go. go ahead. All right, and we're back. Uh, so, looking at the Six Fusion platform architecture, we can see that. Uh, our system is laid out in a way that we can have one meter, but yet support an unlimited number of platforms. We do that through our open framework where we have different plugins to support different platforms. Uh, in this particular diagram, we're showing the OpenShift collector uh, that will pull data from OpenShift and send that data to our Six Fusion cloud meter. Then we have another plugin called the connector which will take the data from the meter after it's been aggregated and it's been the consumption has been calculated and send that data to our Six Fusions analytical platform. Now, what's beautiful about this architecture is that those two plugins can be replaced by third-party plugins, plugins you create, or plugins that we create. For instance, we can have a plugin for AWS, for VMware, et cetera. We can also have a different connector plugin so that you can take that data out of our meter and push it to your own analytics platform or some other uh, data source. So now, uh, Matt, if you can pass it over to me, we're gonna jump into a quick demo of this. All right, so what you see on the screen is the welcome page for our Six Fusion analytics platform. Of course, you get some information to get you started. Uh, but what I'm going to do is jump over to this infrastructure tab. And in this infrastructure tab, I, can, I only have one infrastructure, but we can have many. And the infrastructures could be of different types. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at an OpenShift infrastructure. Uh, on this screen, I can look at an overview of that infrastructure. Uh, this infrastructure is equivalent to a complete OpenShift cluster, which could have multiple nodes. And I can see the total usage in kilowatts, the mean, max, and average usage over a time frame, and then I can look at the average of the different underlying resources that we track, uh, CPU, memory, storage, disk I.O., uh, some WAN I.O. and LAN I.O. I'm going to just change this date range, and I'm going to go back to the 27th, and I'm going to bring up the chart that shows me, that, that shows the data for that date range. Uh, let me just zoom in on it. And you can see here that we have consumption is the green uh, CPU memory and storage is also available to see and compare. I'm gonna, uh, we can always disable some of these metrics so that we can compare them side by side. Uh, we have a pricing and operation section where you can assign a price per kilowatt to this infrastructure, which allows each constituent to be charged for what they consume. When we jump over to our machines tab, this shows every single container running in OpenShift. Now, we call it machines, but each, each machine will have a type. In this case, the type is container. If this was a, uh, a virtual machine environment, then the type would be a virtual machine, or it could be an instance if it was a cloud environment. We have some great filtering capabilities in this section. For instance, I can filter based on a machine's name. I could just type in Mongo, for instance, and I could bring up any machine that has that name. Uh, I can filter on the tag, and we create tags automatically. And you'll notice some of those in blue there. For instance, I can look for all the projects. So in your OpenShift environment, I can filter this list to one particular project, and I can see all of the containers of that project. Of course, we don't end there. Uh, we can look at it for pods. So I can pick a particular pod and see all the containers in a pod. We can do service. And then one that's really interesting 
we can do images. So I can say, show me all containers that are part of a particular image that have been deployed from a particular image. Now I can also sort these lists together. So I'm gonna remove this filter and I'm gonna sort this list by billing groups. And I can notice here that I have a few ungrouped machines. I have one for the marketing group. I can keep scrolling down. I can look at uh, containers for the finance and database teams. Uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is show you how we can do some, group, some more grouping. So I'm gonna use the filter to find a particular project, the default project, which will filter this list. Notice that they're all ungrouped. Uh, what I can do now is select that, that group and do a select all, and I can add it to a billing group. Now we can create as many billing groups as you wish, and those billing groups could be at any level that you wish. So you can have subgroups. In this case, I'm gonna pick uh, the development team and I'll go ahead and apply this billing group to that development team. Now, I might wanna also tag this group. So I'm gonna put away the billing group uh, screen and bring up the tag screen. They have their own tags already, but I might wanna group this as a special tag and I'm gonna call it my you know, test cluster. And just like that, I've added tags to, to that whole group. Now, what is this good for? Well, I can take this group and go to report section and in the tag report, for instance, I can pull up that tag. So I can do another filter again. And I can look up test. I call it the test cluster. Um, what, I, what I'll do here is do a project, sorry. And in that project, I'll click on the, the default project. And I could run a report for that group, for that tag group. And you can see its consumption over time. I can also look at the means, max, average, and total, but I can also see the, the usage or the resources that were used by that group. I can drill into some more details and break that group down into its individual components, and I could see a particular machine and what it was using at a, at a particular time, and I can drill back to a particular hour at that time if I need to. Now let's jump back to the, the uh, list of reports. Another report I wanna show is the chargeback report. And in the chargeback report, we can see those groupings that we created early, earlier. We had that development group, which we just added some machines to, the finance, marketing, and some up, and an operations group. Uh, you'll notice that we can look at our total cost over the whole time frame. This is just a couple of hours today. Uh, and then I can also look at the usage of that group in relation to the other groups. For instance, I can see that my operations group is using 47.426% of the total consumption of this cluster. And also it is used consumed basically $5 in these few hours. If I click on that operations group, I can also see that I have subgroups, which I can then click to get even further by clicking on those subgroups. In those subgroups, of course, I can look at each individual machine and see its cost and the percent of that cost across the whole organization. So what I'm gonna do now real quick is to show you how easy it is to get started. In order to pull that data into our analytics platform, we first have to install it into our, install a meter into our environment. Uh, that all starts by getting an invite email. So an invite email will look something like this. I will go ahead and click that activate account which will launch that whole setup process. You press continue, except of course the license agreement, which is standard, and assign your password to your account. So I am creating a new password for my account. And I can go ahead and set that password. Now in here, I'll give you some quick, uh, some quick start information so you can see how to deploy one of our collectors. But I'm gonna go ahead and click the get and started button which will push me towards a new meter that has been created for my account. You'll notice at this point, this meter has no inventory, no samples, it's very new. Uh, I can see my user guide, I can go to the documentation, I can click on that at any time. Uh, if I clicked on it, it'll show you all the details you need to know about using our platform. Of course, I, can, I have some uh, information I will need during the installation, but what we've created is a way to, co to add collectors very easily. So using the collectors tab, I can pick the platform of choice. In this case, I'm gonna pick the deploy OpenShift container platform. 
And what I'll do, bring up a whole deployment guide for me and how I get started to, to deploy that, uh, that uh, um, collector. Uh, the, the deployment guide will show what I will do, the steps I will take, and really it's only one major step, and that is to take one uh, a line and, and run that command on your infrastructure. What happens when you run that command? If I go over to the OpenShift collector, the OpenShift environment, you will, it will automatically create these pods that are currently running. And they each have their own responsibilities. One of them is the inventory collector, which collects all of the list of containers. Metrics collector, which will collect the usage of each of those containers. And then the on-premise collector, which send that, sends that data from your collector to our meter. Here is, uh, I just want to show a meter that um, Uh, so, so that will be basically all I have to demo today. Uh, and Matt, I'll just give this back to you. Great. Thanks, Del. Give, give me a sec while I find Matt. I got it. Excellent. All right. Thanks for that demo, Del. All right, so getting started with the Six Fusion OpenShift Collector is easy. For those of you that are interested to, to start using it today um, or to, to get started, uh, all you need to do is send an email to support at sixfusion.com. Uh, you'll need to provide information like your name, your company name, title, email, and phone number, and then you'll receive uh, instructions on how to download. Or, or how to download the collector and, and install it in your environment. Uh, you can also go uh, to the, the link that I sh uh, I'm showing below on the screen to learn more about Six Fusion's OpenShift collector. We have uh, lots of information there um, that will help you better understand uh, how, to, how to get started and how to use it. And finally, we want your feedback. The first 10 users to download and start using the Six Fusion platform with the OpenShift container platform, or I'm sorry, using the yeah, start using the Six Fusion platform with the OpenShift container platform, will get a $500 Amazon gift card. Here are the conditions: you must download and install the OpenShift collector and start using it. Participate in an initial call with Six Fusion. Use the meter for 30 days and provide feedback to Six Fusion on a follow-up call after the 30-day period. Please note there is a limit of one gift card per company. So for those of you that are interested, as I mentioned on the previous slide, you'll need to send an email request to support at sixfusion.com with your name, title, or role, your company name, email, and phone number. Instructions, including uh, a link to set up an account, will be sent out on next Monday, April 2nd, um, for those of you that wish to participate in this program. And with that, that's going to conclude the formal presentation and demo from Six Fusion. So I'll pass it over to uh, the moderator for any questions. Alan is have. right here. Guys, thank you. So first of all, Delano, thanks for the uh, demo. We, we have found in doing literally hundreds of these webinars that audiences appreciate a demo where they, they actually can see, see a product working rather than just hear about it. So I, I, I want to uh, thank you very much for that. But guys, I, I you know, we some questions from audience and, and, and I actually have some questions myself, if it's okay. Um, first thing is, you know, this obviously works with OpenShift. What do you, what about other, other, uh, container platforms? So I'll take that one, Matt. Uh, so we, uh, currently only support the OpenShift environment today, but through our collector catalog, we'll be adding more support for other container environments as the need arises. Of course, we also allow customers to to work with us to build uh, new ca new collectors for platforms that we may not even know about. So we have that capability to add new collectors at any time. 
Yeah, and and I guess it's a state of our current state of technology. We it might be platforms you don't even know about yet, but people are out there using them. We, which brings us to our next question, and that is how, uh, without giving away a lot of details, you know, how big is the the customer base for this kind of thing on on OpenShift at this point? What you know, what are you seeing? So we are, we're basically trying to track as much to OpenShift as possible when it comes to the customer base. Uh, we are sort of just introducing this collector to the market. So for us, the customer base is small, but what we want to do through our um, next couple of months is to get this into the market, get a lot of people uh, using the new uh, OpenShift collector and providing us feedback. Uh, maybe you want to see something new, something better, something more. We, we would like to hear that feedback. Yep. Can you give us an idea of, um, like, within the organizations, within the customer organizations that you're dealing with, is it a mix of the technical person as well as the business person? How hard is it to actually stand this up? So it's very simple to stand up. Uh, mostly a technical person on the OpenShift environment will, will run the install. Uh, the install really is a, a YAML file at the end of the day, and that YAML file creates pods inside of OpenShift, as you saw on the screen, those three pods, uh, sorry, those five pods. And once those five pods are created, it will then start sending data to Six Fusion. Nothing else you have to do. Set it and forget it. Yep. And that, that's kind of, I guess, what we were looking for there. And... Um, I, I don't know if you're in a position, Matt, can you name any names of organizations that are utilizing this with OpenShift? Or well, we're, we're working with a number of partners today that are um, engaged with uh, OpenShift customers to deploy this today. So there, there are active engagements going on, but um, yeah, we're, we're not. Got it. We're, we're at that, that early stage right now. No, absolutely. And for those who may be listening, whether it be live or, you know, this is being recorded, um, what do you see as, if, if for someone who wanted to partner with you on this, beyond just being, being a potential end user, would, would you be the right contact for that as well? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're working with uh, a number of Red Hat uh, partners uh, to you know, identify those uh, early opportunities where you know their customers are using OpenShift and they're kind of they're recognizing that that there's uh, you know a gap that can be filled by um, getting information like this from the Six Fusion platform. And so yeah, if there are partners or customers that are interested in uh, learning more about it, they can reach out to me and I can pull in the the right the right people to. Uh, make sure that it's a fit for their uh, organization. Got it. And another question from Richard. Who are the main audiences that the Six Fusion platform data is relevant to? Is it because IT people have to install it, but is it IT? Is it finance? Is it the e-commerce units? Who Who's the main audience here? Well, I, I think you're going to see multiple groups within an organization that are going to care about what Six Fusion can bring to our organization. So uh, it certainly helps those folks on the IT or, or the development side because they're going to be able to demonstrate or understand the usage patterns within their OpenShift environment, who's using what, um, you know, how, you know, how much usage is it can be applied to a particular container or a particular customer and folks on the finance side are going to want to understand uh, or want to going to want to this information as well because they're going to want to know well how does this how much is this open shift environment costing me and how does it compare to what we've done previously and how can we continue to optimize it so it's it, we're, we're going to we're going to help people on both sides um, of the organization. Got it. And uh, I agree. Absolutely. Well, guys, that's all the questions we have. Um, anything else, man, Adelino? 
that you want to add before we uh, take a wrap on today's webinar? Yeah, I, I just I wanted to uh, encourage people to uh, engage with Six Fusion to download our out OpenShift uh, collector and start using it. Uh, you'll get you'll gain real insights on day one. And for those people that uh, want to get a, a five hundred dollar Amazon gift card, um, you know, send that email to support at sixfusion.com, and we will provide the inst instructions of. Uh, everything you need to to get going that'll come out on, on Monday of next week, and uh, you'll be good to go. And we we look forward to working with you. Um, and we also really appreciate uh, our partnership with Red Hat and uh, hosting or co-hosting this uh, event with us here today. No, I, I, absolutely. You know, it is as as these things often go, Matt. There's always a last question. So Chris writes. Uh, are there costs associated with you with using this OpenShift collector? So, if if you want to use this OpenShift co collector in your internal environment to be able to recognize, uh, you know, your container usage and the associated costs, there is no charge for it. Okay, that's that sounds like a good price to me. Um, before we sign off, David Lugo of Red Hat, anything you'd like to add? I think we're all set on my end. Um, that was a fantastic presentation. Thanks again to, to Matt and to Delano. And if anybody wants to learn a little more about our program or how to certify their product with our program, please make sure to visit connect.redhat.com. If for any reason you have any trouble getting to the site or surfing that site, you can also get in contact with me directly. My name is David Lugo, and you can reach me at dlugo at redhat.com. Again, that's D-L-U-G-O at redhat.com and I'll get you connected with the right folks. And thanks again to everybody for joining. Thank you. Hey, David, thank you. Thank Red Hat very much for sponsoring as well at Six Fusion. Delano and Matt, thank you guys for a great presentation and demo. Uh, let's visit back in a few months and see how this thing is doing. Sounds, uh, you know, it sounds exciting. There's so much going on around OpenShift right now. It, it really is kind of exploding. But anyway, this is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com, Container Journal, Security Boulevard. Thanks for joining us on today's webinar. Hope to see you soon on another webinar soon. Have a great day, everyone.